Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. We're a few days off from Thanksgiving. I'm getting ready to make my cornbread dressing. So I have this big bowl here. I'm stirring up my ingredients that I've put in the bowl already. It's a little thick so I may add some more water to it. But this is what I used. I used self-rising meal, self-rising flour. I didn't measure, so probably about six. Well, I'm making a lot, so the measurements don't even matter because I'm making a whole lot. So I used meal flour, a whole can of carnation evaporated milk. I added water to that because it's kind of a thick milk. I have some fat left over from some... Um, Something that I fried, I don't know. I'm going to use two tablespoons of that. I was going to use that butter, but I changed my mind. I decided, three tablespoons. I decided to use the fat instead of the butter because when you're making dressing, it's just, you have to use all <laughs> this fat and wrong stuff, but it comes out so delicious. Okay, so I'm stirring it up. I have this pan that I'm going to put it in. My oven is set at 350. So I'm going to, um, then I have my turkey broth over here heating up. I froze it in this big pitcher right here. So now it's in this pot heating up. So once the um, cornbread come out the oven, I'm going to add that broth and um, my bell peppers, onions, all that good stuff. I have a can of pan spray. I'm gonna spray this pan so the bread won't stick. I normally use my cast iron skillets whenever I make cornbread, but this is just for the stuffing. So it's, this cornbread is made completely different. When I make my cornbread to go along with some greens or peas or something, I use completely different ingredients. I use um. A little sugar, just a little, a tad bit of sugar. I use real butter. I use heavy cream. It's just totally different. One day I'm going to show you how to make our, my cornbread. I'm adding some more water to that because it's a little too stiff for my liking. I'm going to stir it. It's going to make a lot because I'm making for my family and for a friend of mine who wants me to make some dressing for her. I use uh, more meal than flour, a lot more meal than flour. Um, maybe uh, to all the meal that I use, maybe a fourth of it is flour. Okay. Pour this in the pan, put it in the oven, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Excuse me if I sound tired. I had a long day at work today. Uh, this is the cornbread. I put it in the pan already. I poured it. It's in a large foil pan because I'm making a lot, and it's going to take a while to cook. Once that's done, I'm going to crumble it up. Once it cool off, I'm going to add my seasons, which is onion powder, black pepper, um, Larry seasoning so I'm gonna cut up some bell peppers, onions, celery, put a few slices of bread and two boxes of that stovetop stuffing. Now my mom didn't do this, but I'm doing this because I like the flavor that it gives it. And uh, I'm not big on sage, my mother hates sage. So believe me, this is very flavorful when you add that to whatever dressing you're making, just one box. You'll see, you'll see. and. I'm going to add all of that stuff and this turkey stock and these boiled eggs. I'm going to peel these and dice these up. Yes, boiled eggs. My, my mother always put boiled eggs in her stuffing. So I do that, and it's a big hit with my family. So we're going to continue. A lot of people are like, why do you put boiled eggs in that? That does not go in there. When you taste it, you will be surprised. It's not overbearing, not overpowering. It does not taste like potato salad. It's just really good. It really is good. Okay, so now we're going to put this in the oven. 
and let that bake off and dice up all this and we'll be back thank you okay everyone um i just took this cornbread out the oven look at that it's done over here i put that uh stove top stuffing and the slices of bread in this big bowl over here i have my onions celery and bell peppers all chopped up it's getting ready to go over there in the skillet to saute for a little bit before I add it to the rest of the ingredients. Over here I have my chopped up eggs. I have my two containers that I'm going to put the stuffing in. My seasonings. And then I have this pan right here. There, this is butter. That's why it's brown like that. Because it butter browns fast. So this is what I'm going to put the celery, onions, and bell peppers in. My turkey, bone turkey stock is patiently waiting to be added to all the rest of the ingredients. So, I'm gonna take this over here. This uh, celery, onion, bell pepper, and add it to my, oh, let me move that out of the way. My skillet here, I'm gonna set it on medium. And uh, let me get a little help with transferring this over there. Let me see. This is like a shovel. <laughs> We're just gonna saute this. I just don't wanna put it in the dressing raw since I'm freezing this. Okay. Now, whether or not we're going to use all this is a different story. I just got to use my judgment and see if we're going to use it all. That goes the same for the broth and the, if I'm even going to need those seasonings, because I don't want it too salty. So... Have you guys been having a good day so far? I hope so. I'm gonna crank up the heat on this because I want this to saute pretty fast. Let me bring it up, okay. And then I'm gonna clean up this. Okay, thank you guys, I'll be right back. Okay, this is exactly what you want. You want the bell peppers, onions, and celery to start getting browned a little bit. Just kind of toss it. It's good. It's ready to go. We're going to take this. I've already dumped the cornbread into the bowl. We're going to dump all of that in there. Whew. If you guys could smell this, you would swear it's Thanksgiving Day. Okay, let me get this. Okay. It's still too hot. The cornbread and stuff is still too hot for me to handle. So I'm going to let this cool off. Then I'm going to take my hands, clean hands, crumble this cornbread up really good before I add the rest of the ingredients. Okay. I'm going to take my hand like this. Just grab a piece and just really crumble up the bread and Stove top stuffing is all on the bottom. I'm gonna let this cool before we add our seasonings. We're gonna taste it. The eggs will be the last thing that we add. Over here I have my little trash bowl. I bet when you're cooking, always have your little trash bowl, bowl on hand so you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. Okay, and this is the pan the cornbread was in. Look at that. It came out so easy because I sprayed it very good so there was no problems, it just slid right out. So we're gonna let this cool, and then I will continue to um, put our dressing together. Best homemade dressing you've probably ever had. And with the eggs, this is something new. I want you guys to really, really try this, okay? Thank you. Okay, so whew, I have all of this together. I'm getting ready 
to crumble up the cornbread. So you can see I'm crumbling everything up. It's still a, a little warm, but it's more manageable. So it won't be, I don't want it. Ooh, some of it is, look at that. Look at that, a masterpiece. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Crumble, crumble, crumble. And this bread right here that is on the bottom, we're going to just crumble that too. Because once we put the liquids in there, that's going to just dissolve. Pat, why are we doing all of these different types of bread? I don't know. My mother did this, with the exception of the stove top stuffing. That's my thing. That is, it may, oh gosh, it make it so flavorful. You have got to try it. Okay. It's not quite as, but once I put the liquid in it, it will be more manageable. Okay. So I'm gonna pour the um, turkey bone stock in it. I'm gonna pour it all. See that? See all of it? Okay. Take this spoon. It's hot, so I'm gonna take the spoon and try to kind of stir. So that's not enough stock, so I have a backup plan. I have some store-bought chicken broth that I'm going to add to this because it needs to be like a when you're pouring a cake batter so the dressing won't be dry. And then I have one more ingredient I'm going to add to it. So that's not enough. That's not enough liquid in that. Okay. So we're going to add something else. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to go get go out to my garage to the freezer to get I um the chicken giblets and turkey neck and all of that stuff that came with the turkey. I smashed it up. I forgot to add that. That must go in here. To really help with the flavor of our dressing. Okay, so I put it. Let me get some light in here. Where's the light? It's not coming. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna I put it in this refrigerator in the garage. This right here. This is um, the giblets, turkey neck, all this stuff that I ground up that came from the turkey. Okay. Let's go back inside now. Sorry for the darkness. Okay, let's turn this light off. Okay. So being that I don't have enough stock in here, I may have to put this, I have one chicken broth, this right here, but that's not going to be enough, so <sighs> this is going to be my best bet. bet. Stay tuned, okay? Okay, you too, fam. This is what we have so far. This is our dressing. I'm gonna add it, I taste it. Oh my God, it's so delicious. I'm not done yet. This is the broth that I'm gonna put on there. I'm gonna put that on there now. Oh my God, that's yummy. And then I'm gonna add the eggs. Okay, so this is the meat. 
the ground up. Um, let me take these celery sticks out. I put that in there for flavor, but we don't need all of that. But this is the rest of the broth in there. Oh, wait a minute, I got another piece. The giblets, the turkey neck, see? There's a giblet right there, let me take that out. Because I need to chop that up. Before we put that in there, there's another one. Okay. So, when, we, when I make the big turkey, there's going to be a lot of broth from that. So, if we don't have enough broth here, I'm going to just add it before we, um, uh -oh. cook it, cook it, okay, so look at that, I'm adding the meat with that, oh, there's going to be some good dressing, okay, guys, I'm going to let, I'm going to let you guys see me Putting this in the containers to get ready to freeze this. I'll be right back. Okay, here's the finished products. I've wrapped the dress and put it in the containers. And it's getting ready to go in the freezer once they cool off a little bit more. So here we go. It's all in there. And it's delicious. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.